Hey there, young explorers of the math world. Ready to dive into cool math challenges? Dive right into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for some exciting math challenges. And if you're ready for the fun, give us a thumbs up and subscribe right away. Question one, 19 times five equals what? So the answer is 19 times five is 95. To calculate, we have 19 groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 95 balls. Question two, 33 times six equals what? So the answer is 33 times six is 198. To calculate, we have 33 groups with six balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 198 balls. Question three, 28 times two equals what? So the answer is 28 times two is 56. To calculate, we have 28 groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question four, 13 times eight equals what? So the answer is 13 times eight is 104. To calculate, we have 13 groups with eight balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 104 balls. Question five, 16 times two equals what? So the answer is 16 times two is 32. To calculate, we have 16 groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 32 balls. Question six, 26 times nine equals what? So the answer is 26 times nine is 234. To calculate, we have 26 groups with nine balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 234 balls. Question seven, 18 times five equals what? So the answer is 18 times five is 90. To calculate, we have 18 groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 90 balls. Question eight, 27 times nine equals what? So 
So, the answer is 27 times 9 is 243. To calculate, we have 27 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 243 balls. Question 9. 12 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 12 times 5 is 60. To calculate, we have 12 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 60 balls. Question 10. 14 times 5 equals what? So the answer is 14 times 5 is 70. To calculate, we have 14 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 70 balls. Question 11. 10 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is 10 times 2 is 20. To calculate, we have 10 groups with 2 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 20 balls. Question 12. 14 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is 14 times 7 is 98. To calculate, we have 14 groups with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 98 balls. Question 13. 15 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is 15 times 7 is 105. To calculate, we have 15 groups with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 105 balls. Question 14. 16 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is 16 times 9 is 144. To calculate, we have 16 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 144 balls. Question 15. 10 times 4 equals what? So, the answer is 10 times 4 is 40. To calculate, we have 10 groups with 4 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 16. 
18 times 4 equals what? So the answer is 18 times 4 is 72. To calculate, we have 18 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 72 balls. Question 17. 24 times 3 equals what? So the answer is 24 times 3 is 72. To calculate, we have 24 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 72 balls. Question 18. 12 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is 12 times 9 is 108. To calculate, we have 12 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 108 balls. Question 19. 10 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is 10 times 9 is 90. To calculate, we have 10 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 90 balls. Question 20. 12 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is 12 times 7 is 84. To calculate, we have 12 groups with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 84 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.